Well, these Carson City boys right here, Dr. Haywood and Bradley Rotten, these boys right here know how to get the job done. A big opportunity for sure for Pookie and Caden. Caden, a guy that we've seen on Prospects. Bring the fight to some of the toughest competitors we have. And Pookie, a man who is trained from state to state. I, I love these two. They're like an odd couple. Pookie's got to keep the little puppy. Caden and Ryan gets too excited. Likes to yap against bigger dogs like Alex Ace and Sanders. Glad to have Pookie back, and they've got a huge opportunity to win the PZW Tag Team Championship against well, Money Power Respect. Let's not forget this, folks. In the number one contenders match, Pookie did use the ring bell illegally to win that match, and Caden did not look too happy about it. Did, did he? I didn't see that. Well, Doctor, that's why you don't wear sunglasses indoors. I have a, I have a condition. Chronic condition. Oh no. I mean, money, power, respect. What more can you say about them? This tag team is a workhorse. They've been going promotion to promotion, winning constantly, putting their name on the map, and here they are, PCW tag team champions. And every time they win, I want to stick my finger down my throat because I have to see Fab's supposed sexy shoulders and Marco Mania's definitely not sexy time. You know, I'll say this. I, I cannot comment on whether his shoulders are sexy or not, but they are powerful. Both of these men are very strong competitors. Nothing sexy about either of these two. No, thank they, you. They definitely have the accolades to back it up right now, though. Oh, absolutely. They have the proof that they're good competitors right in their hands. They're tag team champions. What, who do you think has the advantage in this matchup, Bradley? Well, the tag team champions always have the advantage. They're holding the titles. They don't have to beat their opponents. Their opponents have to beat them. But I'll say this. They got a lot of work cut out for them tonight. Do you think, what advantage do the challengers have over the champions, Bradley? What do you think an advantage that they have would be? Well, I think being the challenger is always an uphill battle. You're trying to get the title, of course. And they're the holders of the titles, so they don't have to be, uh, they don't have to pin anybody in order to keep those titles necessarily. Oh, our referee needs to do some more wrist curls. Agreed. I want to drop those belts. A huge opportunity for the Carson City boys. Money, power, and respect have been warding those tag team titles over the whole division. You know, I'll say this. Bradley alluded to something. Being a challenger is an uphill battle, but that also comes with advantages. You don't have the pressure of defending the belt. You don't have the pressure of being the favorite constantly in and out. You can wrestle loose. You can you can let all your worries go. I think that's an advantage that the Carson City boys have right now. Well, I I can't say that I disagree with that. That's a good statement, but we'll have to wait and see who's victorious oh, at the end of this match. Exchanging hammerlocks right here by Pookie and Marco Mania. Marco Mania with a headlock. Turns it into a waist lock right there. Some fancy chain wrestling. A lot of hair in the ring right now. Yeah, it definitely looks like a old White Snake music video in there. <laughs> Where's Tawny Katane? Marco Mania whoops Pookie off the ropes. Ooh. Huge shoulder tackle meeting in the middle. Both of these men are large competitors, folks. So it's going to be interesting to see who has the power advantage. Like two big bears in the ring. Just, whoa! Oh, Stuck Marco over. Mania with the drop down. Drops on his knees. What sort of, what, what, I, doctor, what is that? I don't, I don't know. I. Oh, goes for an arm drag. Pookie, though, showing the strength. I don't think I ever want to get into the mind of Marco Mania. Ducks a clothesline. Oh! Bam! That is a large 
large cross body block right there. Sure was. Took him out with all of his weight. Fabricio tagging in right now. Beautiful tag team wrestling shown by Money Power Respect. I'm glad I didn't. Oh! oh. Huge double backbreaker variation. Double right team, there. and that's what might be the difference between the two teams, the tag team champions doing double teams, getting in the advantage, keeping them in, this, in their corner as well, if you watch closely. Right now, Money Power Respect doing a good job of holding them back. Oh, Pookie with a big chop right there, really cutting Fab down to size. Second chop right there. Oh, no, not the sexy shoulders. Oh, Fab ducks the chop and brings back with a firearm chop to himself. Fabricio's on fire right now. Ooh, oh. And that last one knocked him right off his feet. I do got to say one good thing is I didn't have to interview Fab. I haven't been able to find a Russian translator yet to understand what he says. I, I believe he's Spanish, Dr. I no, no, he's Spanish. He's not Spanish. I think I think he's Russian. I, I heard what he was saying the other day. Definitely Russian. Oh! King Luthes Press followed up with a giant leg drop. And Mauricio with a senton. Taking it to Pookie, and, and he's got to get the tag to Caden. Caden makes the save. Caden with no other choice but breaking up that pinfall, because I don't know if Pookie was going to kick out. Marco with a big whip into the corner. Huge splash. Pab tags himself in again. Beautiful technical tag team wrestling. Oh, my God. He oh. just knocks Pookie's eyes out of his skull. That was an extra large enziguri right there. I thought that was three. I tell you Woo. what, though, Pookie needs to do something right here. He's got to get some offense to attack. And Caden because right now, Money, Power, and Respect has all the momentum. Well, they've been smart the whole time. They've been keeping them in their, in their, in their corner, keeping it to their advantage. That's smart tag Woo. team wrestling. And they're doing a lot of double teaming. Big knife, edge chop in the corner. Oh! Huge whip by Fab. Up Pookie and over. Up, up and over onto the apron. Oh! oh. Straight right across the road. Now Pookie's got to make that tag. He's got to move to Caden. What's Pookie going for here? Oh, it looks like he's trying to go for some beats right here, right off the chest of Fab. Looks like Caden helping out with the double. Nope. Gets him back in the ring. Shoots the half. Goes for the cover. Two count right there by the challengers. Pookie needs to tag out. It looks like he's very uh, fatigued. Oh, yeah, he I goes. would agree. Here we go. Finally. And there you now, go. now we got, now we got a fresh man. Pookie to Caden. Flurry of chops and punches. Those Carson oh! City boys taking advantage of that five count. Look at that. Nothing shiny, nothing special about that. Just ramming your opponent into the buckle. Again, another two count. These counts are getting a lot longer for Fabricio right now. Caden trying to wear down Fab. You starve a big man like that in the oxygen. It doesn't get to the muscles. He can't use his strength. But you gotta cinch it in tighter. Oh, Fabricio fighting out of that chin lock. Let's see if Caden can get. Oh, Ooh. big slap. Second slap. Oh my God, is that a headbutt to a backhand? Spinning heel kick to the gut. Oh my God, he went. It looked like he went for a neck breaker. Oh, what a drop oh, kick. Look at that. Carson City boys making an opening, taking advantage of it, and getting back in control. Very impressive outing by these two youngsters taking it to the champs. Bradley, what do you what do you think the champs have to do right now to get back in control? Well, like I said earlier, they gotta get back in advantage by doing things like getting your opponent into your corner so you can get frequent tags in and out. That's what keeps you in an event, because there's always a fresh man. 
Well, it it doesn't look like they're going to be able to do that after that huge double suplex. Well, and that's the thing about tag team matches. You know, you get you've got one guy that's getting worn out and getting worn out by two two opponents. That's how you get a victory. Pookie with a with a front face lock right here, just trying to put all of his weight onto Fab right now. Fab trying to push him back with raw power. Big club to the back by Pookie right there. Oh, Pookie. takes it to Marco. There, right, smart tag team wrestling. If you take your opponent's partner out, they can't tag. Oh, these two counts are getting longer and longer for Fab. He needs to get Marco in, or, or I don't know if they're gonna walk out with the champion with the belts. Boy, I tell you, what a cool it would be for the Carson City boys to stroll into the Nevada State Capitol with the PCW oh my God, Tag Team Championship. He has the Pookie Lock in. The Pookie Lock, the full Nelson. But those shoulders, definitely not sexy. No, no. Oh, huge belly to belly. Both men are down. Both men are down. Who's going to be able to take advantage of this situation? Back to square one. Well, the advantage will probably go to that who gets the tag. The man who gets the tag will get the advantage here. Who wants it to fall? They both make a tag. Caden and Marco in. Oh, Marco with a huge body block. Oh, and a huge clothesline. The big and boy. A third, second clothesline right there. Marco with all the momentum. Caden swinging a miss. Marco has him up in a fireman's carry. Spins him around. No, don't oh, oh, for the sexy huge. pie, please. Please, drop oh, no, no, don't. No. Oh, God, that's disgusting. It's, Zip it up, you pervert. It's hairy, that's for sure. Oh, oh a huge jiggly, it's one, two. Oh, oh he went the same. That was a rabbit's hair away, and I don't even know what that analogy means. I know. a rabbit's hair away. But they got out quick. Caden, very, very lucky to have Pookie there with the save. Right now, the the Carson City boys, what is going on? Oh, look like you're setting up for no! some. Caden super kicks Pookie. He Caden just super kicks Pookie. His partner. Oh, huge shot to the gun. It looks like they're setting up for their finisher. Caden, the legal man. And there it is, one, two, three, the Carson City Boys' dreams of championship gold, dashed by money, power, respect. I want to say that was a hell of a tag team championship match. If it wasn't for the miscommunication of Caden, the Carson City Boys might, as, might be walking out as champions. They can hold their heads high, having taken it to the champions like no one else. We will see more from the Carson City boys, and unfortunately more from Marco's sexy time and Fab's sexy shoulders at Pandemonium. Well, it looks like Zach Reeve is going to go well, talk to these boys. Let's see what's going on. Zach been owning the microphone tonight, making an announcements left and right. Much respect. You guys have been running through the last division here lately in the World Championship Wrestling. Running right through it. As a matter of fact, tonight, you beat a pretty good tag team. What is next for Fabuloso for Greasy
and money. Trade by Kyrie Simon. Oh, guys, you know me for 23 years.